I really just want to see his channel die out. I fucking hate him and his channel. Don't give Pyro a platform to defend himself. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Leafy, and it's been about three days since I fucked up, but today, man... I gotta get something off my fucking chest, dude. And trust me, you guys are gonna want to hear me out on this. So listen, as many of you guys know, I fucked up recently. And in these past few days, I've been getting attacked by a specific YouTuber or person. Someone who acts innocent when they're really guilty of almost everything they judge people on. The saint of YouTube himself. H3H3 Productions. Which is crazy because a lot of people don't understand that me and H3H3 Productions used to be friends. I mean, fuck, a month ago he literally said this to me. Happy for you blowing up. You got a unique style and personality, man. You worked hard to get where you are and you deserve it. And yeah, I was making the same exact videos when he sent me that as I do now today. And honestly, this shit is just getting out of hands. And I want to show you guys today what H3H3 Productions is really like. Not the act that he puts up, but what he's really like. We're not fucking assholes. Pyro is the real cancer of YouTube. I really just want to see his channel die out. Don't give Pyro a platform to defend himself. Okay, definitely not an asshole, dude. But, you know... Judging from that private message that you sent me literally only a month and a half ago, you know, I think that's only something that an asshole would say, and that's coming from a fucking asshole, dude. We're not fucking assholes. I swear to god, I can't even get over that. Not only does the saint of YouTube want this guy's fucking channel to die, but he also wants to leave this guy's channel in a situation where he can't even have a platform to fucking defend himself. I mean, Jesus Christ, someone has been thinking about this a little bit too hard. We're not fucking assholes. But recently, a big YouTuber by the name of H3H3 Productions has made a video about me saying that I'm the cancer of YouTube, and I make the worst videos on this entire website, and I'm basically a fucking tumor. Who are cancerous. I'm serious. And like, look, Leaf, me and Leafy are friends, you know? Oh shit, we're friends! I mean, that's terrific, man. I mean, I should have known since you literally were sucking my dick about my channel about a month ago. Happy for you blowing up. You got a unique style and personality, man. You worked hard to get where you are, and you deserve it. It just pisses me off to see Pyro writing yours to undeserved success. Like, it's just like the top comment on this YouTube video that he made. Who needs enemies when you get friends like these? Because fuck! I don't. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, and I almost forgot. He also said I bully kids. Oh, all he does is make fun of kids? Uh, okay. Ethan, you sure you want to make this point? Uh, you really the saint in this matter? You really not a hypocrite with this? Clean cut? I wouldn't exactly call it clean cut. He's got the hair of a fucking six-year-old dude with a goddamn shitty toupee. Look, guys, the thing is, is the real Ethan, not the bullshit-ass act that they put up on their YouTube channel, but the real Ethan is just as bad, if not worse, than any of the people that they've criticized on their channel, if not worse. And even if there's only one person that doesn't believe me or think that I'm using these private messages in the wrong context, I've posted the entire history of every private message I've ever had with Ethan down below in the description because I don't give a shit anymore dude i'm not gonna play these stupid fucking games with this guy where he sits there and he says oh the context there's no context he's trying to manipulate people no let the people see and let them decide if they think you're really such a saint after they read shit where you say shit like pyro cynical is the real cancer of youtube i hope he's left in a position where he can't defend himself and all the little messages of you licking my asshole saying shit like you deserve it dude you're original you're funny right before one month later saying that i'm the complete cancer of you YouTube and that I make some of the worst YouTube videos on this entire website while saying that you're my friend. And don't you say that my content changed because it hasn't whatsoever. And if you believe so, check the links below. Also, just so everyone knows, at the point in time of Ethan talking to me, I had some beef with another YouTuber called Pyrocynical. And obviously there was a little bit of shit talking there, but Pyrocynical has seen everything I had to say and we've been cool for the past few weeks. But quite honestly, I can't even fucking believe this guy. This guy sits there and he acts like a fucking moral compass of YouTube, fucking pillar of justice his cyber police shit, right? But he's sitting there telling me in February in private messages, Pyro Cynical is the real cancer of YouTube. I hope his channel dies. And if that wasn't already bad enough, he literally says in the conversations, don't give Pyro Cynical a chance to defend himself. Wait, what? Who in the actual fuck even says that? 
You you shit talk him so hard he can't even defend himself. Like what the fuck? Like what even is this shit? It's like some serial killer shit. I'll leave you in the garage where you have nowhere to run. Like what the fuck is he talking about? But let me drill this shit home for you guys. So this was a month and a half ago. The YouTuber Pyrocynical was apparently cancer and didn't even deserve a voice, and his channel needed to fucking die, according to H3H3 Productions, right? But two days ago, Pyro finds some dirt on H3H3 Productions. Apparently, H3H3 Productions has been shit-talking Pyro to tons of different YouTubers, right? He's been shit-talking a lot, right? And Pyro Cynical makes a video about it and addresses the shit-talk from H3H3 Productions for like 10 seconds. And the thing is with a lot of these YouTubers under the mask past YouTube, they can be completely different people. Like, for example, recently, I've actually had a lot of private messages sent to me of H3H3 giving me a lot of shit, saying how my channel is cancer, saying how I'm completely unoriginal, and I'm a total sociopath. He's also tried asking YouTubers to make Parasynical Exposed videos to get a bunch of hate sent to my channel. Now, even though Ethan said all this shit about me, and I'm pretty sure he'd kill me if he saw me in real life, I'm gonna respect his privacy and not show any of these messages. <laughs> Except that one, because <laughs> it's genuine. Genuinely funny. Like, what the fuck, man? Can you just find, like, someone to pick on your own size? Like, I mean, seriously, dude. What's going on? You're just picking on kids. What What's cool about this? But what happens when the peasant calls out the saint himself, the god himself? H3H3 Productions, what happens, dude? What happens? Does H3H3 Productions go to him and say, You are cancer, motherfucker. I said it here, and I'm gonna say it now. You're cancer. Kill yourself. No, dude. Guess what he does? He fucking lies! He tweets out saying, Why you straight lying, dog? And he deletes it 30 minutes later. So for every single person that think this guy's some sort of fucking saint, why is it that the first thing he did was fucking lie? And if he wasn't lying, why did he delete the tweet? Which, Loki, I have no fucking idea. Like, it's pretty retarded if you think about it. Why would you claim he's lying? I mean, motherfucker, I could come out with all the DMs and they make you look a lot worse than just pyrocynical as cancer. I mean, holy shit, dude. Like, uh, what the fuck were you thinking? Thinking, dog. But what does the saint known as H3H3 Productions do after he's been caught lying? He's in the face of fire. Some people are calling him out. What happens? What does he do? I know what he does. He fucking licks Pyrocynical's asshole, dude. Look at this shit. In the past couple of months, your content has been way better, way more effort, way funnier, way more delicate. Like, you don't really bully people. Even though I dislike you because I felt like you shamelessly copied people, I always respect. Oh, I love that. Respect. That, you know, oh my god, respect. That is such a good word. Always respect your hard-ass work, and your videos are intelligent, well thought out, and executed. I guess it threatened me. I don't know. Either way, I'm sorry. So let me just get this whole thing straight. Pyrocynical is the real cancer of YouTube, and he doesn't even deserve a fucking voice. But when Pyrocynical gets a little bit of dirt on H3H3, his videos all of a sudden become respected, way better, and, and fucking deserve the attention. They're good. Respect. You know, that kind of reminds me of something. It kind of reminds me when he did the same thing to me, dude! Like, get this fucking guy, dude. One month ago, he's DMing me, licking my asshole. I'm doing great on YouTube. Happy for you blowing up. You got a unique style. And personally, man, you worked hard to get where you are, and you deserve it. What does this fucking sound like? The same fucking thing! But when I fuck up and there's some people that want my blood, what happens? What does he do? He jumps on the fucking hate wagon to get his guaranteed 2 million views. Like, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, pick a fucking side, Ethan, Jesus! Like, this guy was my fucking friend, dude. The only time I ever went to this guy was for his advice and his opinion on certain things. I never went to him with the intention of getting anything in return. I mean, look at this shit. I literally was willing to offer to- I put this guy in my sub box dude. I put him in my sub box and I didn't even care if he did it in return because I liked this guy, man. I liked his videos. I thought he was a cool guy. He was still in my sub box when he made a video telling me that I was cancerous and one of the worst YouTubers on fucking YouTube. Like, I helped this guy out with networks. I helped him out with sponsorship deals. I added him to my sub box. I helped him out. But when the opportunity came where he could make a quick easy buck, get some YouTube popularity off just throwing me under the bus, he fucking took it, man. According to him, my videos were no longer good, but instead the cancer of YouTube. The worst shit on YouTube, he said. Worst place. But right now, these commentary channels are kind of the worst thing that's happened to YouTube. Look guys, I'm the bad guy. 
I make toxic content and everybody knows that. I'm not here to be the next Jesus of YouTube and I don't want to be. And I will make videos where I talk about ridiculous things I find in other YouTubers videos because I'm here to entertain my fans. And if I fuck up, I'll apologize for it just like I've done in the past. But I refuse to take this line down from someone as fake as H3H3 Productions who sits there on camera and acts like a fucking saint when behind the scenes he uses people, talks shit behind other YouTubers, lies when his ass is about to get lit, turns on people, turns on his friends, and sits there and hopes for channels to die and to be left in a state where they can't even fucking defend themselves. Because the day I do that is the day that I'm no different from this fucking guy whose head looks like my fucking ball sack. Guys, I'm 20 years old and I'm new to this entire YouTube game and I've gotten a crazy amount of popularity recently thanks to you guys. I'm here to make entertaining videos for my fans that some people might be offended by and I'm okay with that. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video today and if you support me, definitely leave a like because this video is probably gonna cause some fucking war, dude. This, this is not, this is not the community that, I mean, I think most of us want to be a part of. I really just want to see his channel die out. I fucking hate him and his channel. Don't give Pyro a platform to defend himself. Congratulations, you played yourself. But I want to thank everybody who supported me through everything that happened recently, because without you guys, I would have got fucked. But thank you guys so much for your support, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks guys, peace.